seems that Burnley are interested in the services of Paul Dummett. Paul Dummett? Did they not see what happened to him on Friday? Dennis Adoy absolutely crucified him. Oh my God. What's going on people, it's your boy Fordy, AKA Ford Have Mercy. And apparently, Paul Dummett has interest from Burnley FC. I mean, I don't know who's the biggest fool here. Burnley FC or us not willing to sell Paul Dummett and get him out of the club. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's great having a Geordie in the team. Again, it's great having a left footer in defence in the team. It adds balance to the squad and to the team itself and the defence itself. But Paul Dummett, I mean, God. I mean, this is probably the reason why that Galloway's on his way, fingers crossed, no hiccups, to Newcastle United. I mean, the sooner Paul Dummett is out of the team and, I don't know, goes on loan somewhere, gets out of the club permanently, gets some more defensive tutoring from Rafa Benitez, the better. I mean, oh, I bet he's still having nightmares of what Adoy did to him. I mean, his head's still spinning to this day. But yeah, apparently the bid's been rebuffed or any interest has been rebuffed by Rafa Benitez. He wants to keep him here. He's happy to have his services here at the club, whatever they are. And again, it's just one that baffles me. I mean, of all players that we could have got picked off from, I mean, Perez, Sissoko, Mitrovic, Lascelles, Yama, but Paul Dummett. That doesn't make no sense. I mean, it's not down to me, guys. I don't make up the rules. Apparently, I read it in the Chronicle, so again, it might be just, you know, hold a load of clickbait or, you know, a slow news day, but I just thought I'd share this information with you because... It's baffling me to the point where I'm thinking, what is life? What is life? If Paul Dummett can attract a Premier League club, then I might have a chance to play for Barcelona. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. It's just a quick one anyway, just to have to get it off my chest, guys. Paul Dummett apparently has been attracting not only <laughs> interest from Burnley, but other Premier League clubs. So it answers the question, what is life? I mean, is he going to be here come the Huddersfield game? Is he going to be in the starting lineup come the Huddersfield game? Because, again, Galloway is on his way. Apparently, he's in time, so as we speak. So, by the time this video goes out, he might be holding the shirt aloft at St. James's Park. Fingers crossed it is. I mean, even what's happened to Kevin Mababu? Get Mababu in. Come on, Rafa. Get him in. I mean, the, the side's the fact that he looks like Bob Marley. I mean, that should be enough to get him in the side anyway. Oh, dear, oh, dear. But anyway, getting back to Paul Dummett. That's what we're here to discuss. Paul Dummett. Oh, God knows why this has happened. I don't think it's going to happen, but it's just interesting to find, you know, Premier League Manchester trailer for. I mean, do they watch the same game that we do? I mean, come on, speak to me, Newcastle United fans. I sit there... I watch games, whether it be on TV, in person, on the internet, and I, I analyse players as well as just watch them for fun. I mean, I've, I've got a coaching background, hence the reason why I like to kind of watch people in, that, in their way of playing, you know, what are their attributes, how they play. And I just sit there and, and watch some of our players and thinking to myself, how did you get so far? How did you get through the ranks? I mean, he's still got a long way to go, don't get me wrong, it's not the finished article by any stretch of the imagination. But to get to a Premier League level, or not, oh, I keep forgetting we're not Premier League, to a championship level, and you're getting paid thousands of pounds per week, you've got to have something about you, surely. Because there's thousands upon thousands upon thousands of kids all across the country who would love to play for a club like Newcastle United. And they probably have the same attributes, if not more, to, to be worthy of a first team spot. But yet Paul Dummett gets into the squad. Not into the squad, into the starting lineup. I don't know. Hopefully, Galloway's on the way. Hopefully, something can be resolved this situation because I wouldn't want to see Dummett just being tossed aside for one bad game. But at the same time, he needs a lot of work. And I'm sure championship clubs will be identifying him as the weakest link in our team, especially in our defence, and be targeting him all the time. And I don't want that for us. Well, I don't want. I don't want us to go really back to the Keegan days where we have to outscore teams. I would love a, I'd rather take a 2 0 win, you know, solid win, clean sheet, good defensive performance, good offensive performance, and then call it a day there. Rather than having to win, you know, 5 4 every single game. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's not the greatest for the heart, but at the same time, 
a win's a win, but I'll, I know what I prefer anyway. But as always, guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Should Dummett stay? Should Dummett go? Does he need more coaching? Of course he does, but obviously I'll leave that one down to you guys. Take care of yourself as always, guys. I'll see you all soon. Keep it to peace. We need a creative midfielder, someone's going to pass the ball around midfield, get us possession. We were outplayed today by Fulham. More yeah. than Perez played like it, it was still pre season. Team lineups, sales and goal. Now, you know my thoughts on him. I'm not sold on him. And again, a couple of shaky moments in the game proved me just right.